The next thing we're putting in here is the camshaft. Again, the camshaft, I want to just make sure that it's got this rotational part here. This is a decompression agent. When I open that all the way up, it should be flat here. This little bar should go flat, and it rotates back up. That's what bumps that tappet as it comes around. The tappets don't matter which side you put them in, but they do matter that you have assembly lube on them right away. We have metal on metal going on here. So I put assembly lube on there, put assembly lube on the back of the tappet, and they fit in two little holes right here. And I push them all the way up. Push it all the way up as high as you can. That assembly loop kind of actually helps it out, sticks it up there. Put this tappet back in place, all the way up. Now comes a camshaft. Camshaft, again, has a timing mark on it. That mark right there is a timing mark. The camshaft gear also has a timing mark. The camshaft gear on the crankshaft it's a smaller gear. So I line up that timing mark with this timing mark. Again, I got to put some assembly lube on because that shaft is going to fit in there right away. I'm going to put some assembly lube on each lobe of the camshaft. So assembly lube here and this one here. You'll notice it's not a bearing in there, it's a bushing, which means it doesn't have those little balls that spin around. Assembly lube. I'm going to pre-put some assembly lube on top of this gear. It's kind of like squirting tube or toothpaste onto your toothbrush. You don't need a ton, you just need it all the way around to work it through. Timing mark. I rotate the camshaft until that timing mark is where I need it to be. Ah, right there is the timing mark. And this one's really easy to get off by one. And I'll show you why here in a second. So when I have them flush, I'll zoom in on that again. You can see the timing mark. Let me get a pointer. You can see the timing mark on the gear is right there. And the timing mark is here. So the gear is on the peak of the gear. This one's in the valley. When this pushes all the way in, you'll see it rotates that timing mark just a little bit. So you got to time it with the gear out at this front edge. And now I know that timing mark on the crankshaft and the timing mark on the cam gear are in the right spots. So this is timing when those valves are opening and closing. If you don't have that timing right, the valve opens at the wrong time and smashes into the cylinder. So those two timing marks are critical. I'm going to zoom back out. And we're going to double check this again. So we're going to run this through. And this timing, I got to turn it backwards to keep these helical gears going and staying engaged. And I'm watching when this timing gear comes around again, and it should hit again. Okay? If I turn forward, it tends to pull that gear out and give me a problem. So the timing gear comes around, looking, and right now they're opposite of each other. That's because for every one rotation of the crankshaft, there's, or sorry, every two rotations of the crankshaft, there's only one rotation. Of the camshaft. So we're continuing to rotate that around. You can see the gears are getting filled with that 
assembly lube. And now we have the inside cam gear in, tappets in, balancer in, lever. This is the time I want you to set up the timing to the balancer. Call me over. I will come and check that timing. Then I'll have you rotate it to the timing of the camshaft. And I will check that, double check that timing for you. Good luck.